Hey guys, it is Miki Sama Unlimited. And Yama. And we are here doing an episode of Toot and Boot. If you haven't known what Toot and Boot is, Toot and Boot, if you're new, it's a segment where I and Yama, if Yama's available, we we tackle new cards that are coming out and we either say toot if they're good, boot if they're bad, and then we just give our opinions overall and whatever has more points is what we'll give it at the end of the day. Don't forget to give us 800 likes if you would like to see this next Sunday. It's greatly appreciated. And if you would like to see the channel grow, that is how you do it. So the first card we're going to be talking about is... Coco Magician Girl or Chocolate Magician Girl? We don't know yet. It's unconfirmed. And it's a level 4 water spellcaster type effect monster. It's with exactly what you wanted with that new Aromage support. I know, and it's not. <laughs> <laughs> 1600 attack and 1000 defense. That's bootable. No, I'm kidding. First effect, once per turn you can discard one spellcaster type monster and draw one card. Break even. Um, second effect. Once per turn, if this card is targeted for an attack, you can target one spellcaster type monster in your graveyard, except Chocolate Magician Girl or Coco Magician Girl, and special summon that monster. And if you do, change the target of the attack to that monster, and have the attacking monster's attack points. Okay. Now, we don't know if this effect is 100% confirmed, because I only personally trust wikipedia's effects so this effect might be changed slightly i mean she's white i mean you're chocolate magician girl that's racist you're right. chocolate no Cho not chocolate magician she's white chocolate though they just Ooh. when <laughs> when, Are when you white chocolate? yeah i'm white chocolate no i'm uh i'm like cappuccino colored i think <laughs> i mean next to you i'm like i know i'm white i'm white you're chocolate. white chocolate i'm like i don't know i'm not i'm not white chocolate <laughs> i lost my chocolate magician girl that's racist. <laughs> you know what it is? Her first effect is kind of decent. Being able to chuck a card, draw a card, that's just breaking even. That's not a good... I would, If that was just her main effect, I would not toot her at all. But... Yeah, no, I, I think if that was her regular effect, I would have an issue. I would, like, have to think about it more. Yeah. But the second effect is really good, at least the... I mean... A lot of people said this helps out spell books, should dolls, trick clowns. So this, this card could necessarily help a lot of decks. But would it be the tech of choice is the situation? But in my opinion... Well, like like it says, the second effect. Once per turn, if this card is targeted for an attack, you can target one spellcaster to Well, that's monster. kind of bootable, because... In, if Because if have you have two attack. monsters, if you have two monsters on the field... She's gonna die because she can only do that effect once per turn. I know, she's but not in bone. She's I, not like I know, but the one thing with her also is that I guess a quality of bootable for her is that she, you know your opponent knows this card's effect, so they're not gonna attack her. So her effect is technically never gonna get off. Yeah, that's the thing. If if someone if you just summon the monster, or just leave her there. Now I got a reason to boot her, but no, honestly, at the end of the day, she's honestly a really good, decent Yu-Gi-Oh card. Because if you leave her alone, I'm pretty sure you could, yeah, use her effect well, she, once per turn and keep effect, discarding. You can, yeah, you could, you could dump cards to the grave, and then, like, you know, if you have other cards that activate in the grave, do all that crazy so crap. So, overall, she's a decent card. She helps out a lot of decks. Like I said before, Spellbook's Trick Clown. She helps. And really Spellcaster deck. Yeah, Dark Magician. She helps a lot. And so, in my opinion, I'll give her a, a generous... Um, she, she helps out Magic Specters. Well, is there any? Specters, well, know. Mage Specters, I don't think so, because Mage Specters, most of the time, they'll just keep going in the extra deck. Like, you won't well, yeah, well then you'll just dump them to the grave, and that doesn't help. Well, and but... you know, like, any, like, closing argument for her? Because I, I gave her a toot. Like... Yeah, I gave her a toot, too. I mean, I toot her. I mean, I don't really have... The only thing I can say is that I hope that the second effect is the way I read it. Like... Yeah, that if, because if you bring a says, monster back and that monster's attack once it's half, it's kind of... a waste of fucking time. It's okay. Like, it's still tootable, but it's not as But, like I said... Special summon it, and if you do, change the target of the attack to that monster, meaning it won't hurt her, it'll hurt the you monster. You know what's funny? It looks like a card that you'd use. You know, she's cute. <laughs> and <laughs> she's fierce. She's fierce. What? What? No. Imagine her walking down the runway. Well, she's not going to be fierce in the new release, because she's probably not going to be. She's not going to be naked anymore. <laughs> Next card is Marsh Macron. So they made, finally, another Marshmallow, and we love Marshmallow. The community loves Marshmallow, but nobody wants to face that card and flip it so you take that thousand and see that card. They're like, you should know. It's an intermediate. All right, it's Light Fairy, level 1, 200 attack, 200 defense, trigger, condition effect. If this card is destroyed by battle or card effect, you could special summon up to two other Marsh Macrons from your hand, deck, or graveyard. You can only use the effect of Marsh Macron once per turn. Now, 
if it didn't have that second effect where it said, oh, you can only use the effect of Marsh Macron once per turn, I view this as a card where unless you have protection already on the field, this card is literally just going to get hit and then... You just just ones summon a bunch of shit. No, and... you know what it is? It's like... It's like Nimble Mo Manga in a sense. It's that if I attack Nimble Mo Manga and they're like, oh, I special summon two other Nimble Mo Mangas. You know what it is? It's that something like this, you'll catch your opponent off guard the first time. But when you attack again, they, you know, they're coming at you with everything. They're not going to just attack one. And unless you have back or this card's a little Especially when they pointless. know it's going to be those two cards anyway. They're honestly, I feel, I feel like, honestly, a card like this would only promote a very obnoxious deck. Like a trolley deck like Burn or a deck that would literally just want to stall and have protection. But want you to fucking constantly deal with this motherfucker. And then you just yeah. want to like, rip I mean, your hair if, out. If they have one, if the opponent can only attack with one monster, it's decent. I see... People it, right? Isn't it like, wouldn't it be decent if they can only attack with like one monster? Uh, yeah, but I see like noobs using this card with like Swift Scarecrow, and I'm like, Ugh. I don't even want to think about it. Ugh. Swift Scarecrow. No, Scrap Iron Scarecrow. That's what I was thinking. That's, I'm that's like, the, tra that's yeah, the trap card. The trap card like, like, that actually attack. And then it goes back down. Yeah, it's annoying. That's fucking annoying. But yeah, in my, pr in, in my opinion, noobs. I mean, <laughs> yeah, noobs would use this. But in my opinion, I would give this card a boot because if it had the regenerating effect, and it could just be like, oh, you know, chuck one and do that. And constantly having a revival jam, I would have nothing negative to say about it. And I like it more. But... I, I mean, I would, I'll boot it, but I suit the artwork. Well, I, it's really cute. Listen, I love fucking macarons. He works in a fucking bakery. He brings home fucking, back in the day, he used to bring home macarons. I don't bring them home for you anymore. You probably bring no, them home for somebody hasn't... else. Here. She okay. only makes them in the spring, and it's basically spring, so she's gonna make it soon. Yay! I really want fucking macarons. They're really good. What What are the ones that I like? The buttercream? Just the plain buttercream you yeah. enjoy. You don't really care like about. Um, it's good. The strawberry one's good too. Yeah. That's, it looks like marsh macaron. <laughs> that's that marsh macaron's a strawberry macaron. So you toot for the artwork, boot for the effect. <laughs> yes. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys had any opinions, and if you disagree with me and Yama's opinions in this episode of Toot and Boot, leave it in the comment section below. And Let us tell know about how you'd work Marsh Macron in your deck. Yeah, if you think Marsh Macron is a toot, leave your comments below. If you think Coco Magician Girl or Chocolate Magician Girl is a boot, White Chocolate in. Magician Girl, you tell us. Yeah, if you think she's a boot, tell us why you think she's terrible. Do you think tell it's... us if you're going to use either of these cards. 800 likes by next Sunday. And yes, subscribe to the channel if you're new. I upload every Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, and Sunday. Hope you guys all have a great day and see you guys later. Do you have anything to say? Enjoy the video and please comment. We love the comments. Yeah, we always read the comments.